In problem five, we're given the equation v squared equals v zero squared plus two a delta x, and we're told to solve it for delta x. You can do this without knowing what all of these variables stand for, but I'm going to tell you that the x is position, and this delta, the Greek letter delta, means change in. So delta x means change in position. Think of that as one thing. Don't think of this as delta times x. Delta x is the thing that we're solving for. So to do this, I'm going to start by subtracting v0 squared from each side. And then on the right, the v0 squared and the negative v0 squared will cancel out. And that leaves me with this. On the left, I have v squared minus v0 squared. And on the right, I have 2a delta x. Then to solve for delta x, I need to divide each side by 2a. And on the right, the 2's and the A's cancel out, and I'm left with delta x all by itself, which is what I wanted. So delta x is v squared minus v0 squared over 2A. In problem 6, I have the formula P is v squared over R, and this is a formula from electricity. P here stands for power. The V stands for the voltage, and the R stands for the resistance. If you have an element in a circuit, it has a certain electrical resistance and a certain voltage going through it, and it has a certain amount of power. That's the, how much energy it's using in a given amount of time. We're told to solve this for V. So I'll start, let me write this here. P is V squared over R. My first move will be to multiply both sides by R and then the R's cancel. And that leaves me with RP is equal to V squared, and I'll write it like this. V squared is equal to RP. And then to, to find V, I just take the square root of each side. So V is the square root of RP.